Hi ladies and thanks for joining me. I've been getting a lot of requests lately to show how I do the cover glittery pink that I use on my own nails for my nail bed. So today I figured I'd mix some up and show y'all what I do. So the few things that I have out is I just have a sheer pink. Any sheer pink, whatever brand that you use, you can use. And then I also have an opaque pink. And like I said, this is like, a, I guess what you would co call a cover pink. So I have those two powders. And then I have um, a little container of this uh, bright pink acrylic powder. And we're going to use that for color because I like my nail beds a little bit pinker. So that is optional. And then I also have... This it's from Joann's and it's called their Crystal Party. And I'm going to be using some of this. And then I also have some of this ultra fine pink glitter, and I also use this. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our sheer pink, because most of it is going to be sheer. And uh, I just have my fourth of a teaspoon here, and what I'm going to do. And this, you know, this is all mixed to your personal preference. I recommend doing like a test swatch. But normally, we're going to put four of these in here. So it'll make a one. So I'm pretty sure that was four. I lost trout because I was talking to y'all. So there is my sheer pink. And then I'm going to want to put some of this opaque and... Uh, it just gives you a little bit more um, of a cover, which I like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fourth. And one more. So basically your mix ratio is half sheer and half opaque. And then what I'm going to do to give it just a little bit more pink, I'm going to open this one up. And this is just a just an eighth right here. And I'm probably not even going to do a full. Because we don't want it to be too pink. So that's about halfway full. I'm going to drop that in there. And I mean a little bit of that colored acrylic goes a long way. And then now we'll get to the glitters. The first one that I'm going to put in is this one and I'm not sure what it's called. Um, there's not really a name on each individually in individual one, but what this is, it's a, a much lighter pink. Much, much lighter. And we're going to put an eighth in there. It's a heaping. Eighth, and then I'm also going to put an eighth of this pink in there because it just gives you that multi tonal. Um, I don't know if you can see it on my thumb, but there is a multi tonal pink in there. And you can use whatever type of pink glitter you like. I just really like this one with the flashes of the blue, the iridescence. That way you can really see it sparkle on my nails. So I put an eighth of that one in there. And then what I'm going to do is just mix it up. And then I'm going to look at the glitter consistency. And that is really pretty. I'm liking it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swatch it on a nail for you real quick. Get out just a one of my big clear tips, and we're gonna see exactly how much cover it does. And I recommend using the clear ones whenever you do this little test. That way you can tell, you know, if you want to add more acrylic, or if you want to add like more sheer, or if you want to add more opaque to get the consistency that you're going to want. So I'm just getting out my monomer real quick. 
We don't need very much because we're just going to do a little bitty test. So here it is. I probably should have had that out ahead of time, but I'm having to use my phone today because my laptop is in the shop because two of my keys popped off and it was very frustrating because it was the D and the O. And so those are ones that you use a lot. So I took it in. So I just got my monomer and we're gonna pick up a bead. It's got a really nice pink consistency or color. Just pat it on. And we're gonna let that sit up a little bit. But you can see, let's see if I can get it to focus. You can see how it matches the one that is on my nails. And as you can tell, it's, you know, I'm going to put something behind this so maybe you can see like some writing. Let's just use this. And that way you can see that it does, in fact, cover up quite well. Now it is going to be a little bit sheer. Just a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit of the black poking through. But that's basically it. That's how I make my cover pink, my glittery cover pink. And see, like I said, you can see through it a little bit. You can see my nail right there. So you will see some of the natural nail underneath, but this is just enough to where you get some good coverage. And if you want to do like an extended nail bed, it'll work and help you achieve that. So, but that's it. That's how you do it, or how I do it at least, to make mine. And I hope this was helpful, and I hope y'all enjoyed the video. So, as always, thanks for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.